What's up everybody, this is AI coming at you with another OBS tutorial. Now today, I uh, figured out something really cool and I wanted to share with you. Now, I know that a lot of you are asking me stuff about um, you know OBS and different things you can do in it. And when I find out something cool like this, I, I really want to share it with you because I think it would be very useful for kind of stuff what people are doing. So the, the idea behind this concept is I needed a outro. I needed, I want to, I'm going to do this for an intro too eventually, but I want to be able to like, as soon as I'm done talking about my subject, I want to be able to click a button and then my outro plays for YouTube. And then I, I have it pre-made already. And, um, then I don't have to worry about making an outro. So it helps on editing live. It, it has a more live feel to it. I can, I can do everything. It helps my workflow where I don't have to, um, worry about it if I can just add it to it. Now, the when I did this, I, I was able to figure this out, how to do this, what I'm gonna show you right now. But I also ran into another problem. As soon as I got done speaking, I found that I had a cough or I, I just I needed to cut out quickly and um, my mic was still on. So I was like, so I, I did it a couple times like, oh sweet, I nailed it. Play it back and all of a sudden I hear myself coughing right when my, out, my uh, in video was playing so I also figured out how when I switch over to it my mic mutes so I don't hear myself so that's what I'm gonna show you right now so as you can see right here on this video I have two scenes if you can you can see if you look over here I have two scenes on here and what I'm gonna do is uh, so this first scene is what you're seeing right now uh, this um, I just call it a game scene. So this this scene right here that you're seeing could be anything. This is, could be anything. This is going to be your main uh, scene with your game stuff, your whatever you want on there. So that that's what this is going to be. So whatever your main um, uh, setup is for your screen, that's that's what you want to have as your first scene. Now your second scene, I got an outro. Um, so this is kind of you can have an intro one too. So if you want to lead in with something and you want to, you know, want to um, end with something, this is how you set it. So you do a separate one with the same, same setup. So what you got to do is, on your outro, you you need to add. Right here, I already did it. You add the media source right here, this media source, and then this will show up right here. So you'll have a media source. Now what you got to do, is going to give you this menu as soon as it pops up. So this is where you pick your file. So now if it's something, um, this, there's other things you can use this for. Like if you have a, uh, just a loop, something you can loop, you can add, add a video file there and you can have like a logo looping or something like that. So there's other, there are other uses to this too, but I wanted to use it for an outro. Um, so what I did was this isn't the file you, you'll see my outro as soon as I'm done talking, but I uh, just picked any file you pick, you, uh, Go ahead and click that, and that will show up right there. And so that will be the video. Now, now it might might give you an option. I, I was having a difficulty before it showing me the video and being able to do this. So um, I don't know if it's a bug or not, but it's working right now. So so you get it full screen, and this way you can manip manipulate it too. Where if it's a logo or something, you can make it smaller and have it kind of loop but right there you put that in there and so that's gonna be my full screen so this scene is set now as you can see right here I have my mic because I'm over on this scene so but watch what happens keep an eye on, on the mic stuff as soon as I I have it up so I have it selected so you, you're gonna to have to have it um, queued up to switch over so as soon as I hit transition you'll notice all my mic goes away boom and then that video is playing and um, you can't hear the video right now I'm just way I'm recording but as you can see the levels are going and that's what's gonna show up so you're just gonna have that and you're not gonna hear me talking on the mic so I'm gonna switch it back now how did I do so that was pretty easy you have a video so record a video and have it set up the way you want and you can switch to it now this or if you have a video you just wanna the cut to and have it queued up that's that's how you do it now to get the microphone to mute 
when you switch over to it, that's a little trickier. So what you have to do, we're going to go over to settings over here, and now your audio output, you need to disable your mics, all your auxiliary mics. Totally disable them. So disable those mics, and you're like, how, how are you going to be able to talk? Well, what you got to do now is go to, once it's completely, um, that means it turns the mic off for all your scenes. So default, there's no mic. So when we switch over to this one, there's no mic. That's that's how you take it out. But like when you want a scene that you need the mic, see, I need the mic on this one. Right here, you're going to see media source. See how I added media source down here? So how do you do that? Click on there. Go to audio input capture. Select that. Of course, it's going to say create a new. And then you select your microphone. Boom, add that. Now what happens is I'm going to delete that one that I just created. Uh, okay, I'm going to delete that one. So what happens, you won't see it right away. You're going to have to do a quick transition between the two and it will show up. So it's going to go away. See? So that's how you do it. So that's how you get your video to play, your mic to mute when you go live to it. Now if you don't want your mic to mute and you want to talk over the video, then uh, make sure you have, if you want, make sure you do the same thing on that scene. If, if you turned off, if you did that first step where you turned off the microphone, you're going to have to add it back in to every scene that you want that. So if there is one scene that you want your mic off, you're going to have to turn it off for everything and add it individually. So I hope that helps you guys out. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was pretty helpful. I was trying to figure out how to how to do a live, you know, more of a live feel on the broadcast and be able to kick it to an extra or outro. And, and, and I'm going to set up an intro too so I can just come in live, come in intro, come in, and then go out through a file. So it just gives a flow. If, you, if you're doing it live and if you're trying to do it in one take, it helps you on editing and stuff like that. So, I mean, helps you in posts and gets your videos out there quicker. So hope that helps you out. So thanks for watching. Um, uh, again, if you have any more uh, OBS questions, let me know in comments and I'll see what I can do for you. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video brought to you by GamerFridge.com. Now, if you can help us out by hitting that subscribe button and then hit that like button and then go ahead and click that little bell so you get notifications. So anytime we drop a new video, you can be the first to know about it. And again, if you want to check out some more of what we're doing, there's some videos down here, right down here. Can you see them? Yeah, go ahead and click those and we'll get you started on some great new content. Again, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time.